I've been here now, uh, I think it's coming on 27 years with Sask Rivers. We had a, a French immersion program on the east side of the city of Prince Albert. The building was just getting crowded. We had 700 kids there and, and growing, and it was in an area of the city where there was some development. So we talked about maybe adding real catables there to expand that, but our real estate was just not there. And so we talked about a two-phase project at Arthur Peachy School. The best option we had was to go to relocatable classrooms. It was really important that these fit into the neighborhood and the school, and we didn't just want siding that was, um, you know, that you'd put on a shed or a storage building. We wanted uh, high-end, heavy-duty siding that was no fasteners exposed. We wanted uh, a, you know, a two-ply roofing system like we'd put on a new building. We wanted uh, the windows, so lots of natural light. We talked to other providers, and some were very matter-of-fact. This is what we provide, you know, and it didn't sound like it was going to be flexible. Being that we run our school division, we build these buildings and we manage a million and a half square feet of facilities, we know what we want. We wanted to make sure that people were willing to work with us and give us what we wanted. And that's what I was hoping for, and then we got that. We got more than that. We signed a deal and they got rolling on them and um, you know, phase one came in, they put them on site right around the day that we had that we had wanted them. So it was a really good experience on phase one. Phase one is in yellow on my, on my map, on my floor plan here. That was the first phase, four relocatable classrooms. In the design of that, we wanted some good natural light for student learning as well. We wanted to upgrade our siding so it was a durable finish and looked well and blended in with the neighborhood and the rest of the, of the school. Phase two, that involved six relocatables and a washroom um, module. Here we are with six classrooms. We thought four, but we decided we needed six. And so we put these into position here just on the, I guess it would be the southwest side of this octagonal section of the, of the school. A smaller link uh, than the washrooms, and this is a fairly open area now. And then we have six classrooms that are very uh, similar to the first four. And then phase three again, um, we just felt we were gonna be short of physical education space in our main gym. It's a nice large gym, but now we're going from 200 kids to 400 kids, so this facility is gonna really help us. When that thing showed up, the weather was nice, things worked out really well for us. They put it in place, and when the kids came back in the new year, they had a gym, <laughs> gymnasium. So it was really quick and fast, and it's just bang, it's there. It was, I think it's a great concept. Like we talked about natural light and the, the classrooms have so much nice natural light from the windows system they use. They incorporated that some up, up high on the walls in this and when you walk in there with the lights on, it's natural daylight in there. I think the kids really enjoy it. That's their own special gym. One of our superintendent's kids go to that school. He's got two little ones going there and they both use this and they think it's great. They have their own gym. We were around 220, and it was um, single track. It wasn't French immersion then. Um, and now, as of yesterday, there was 440 kids in that school. So we've, we've basically doubled the size of the school with relocatable classrooms in less than two years. We've had a lot of compliments from people that, even uh, a former principal in our division lives in that area and has for 40 years or more, maybe 50. And he, he's commented to me about how it looks so good in their neighborhood to see that school grow and to see that we've done it with, we didn't have the money to go and do a major capital project for five or six, seven million dollars, so we had to be innovative and that's what we did. And yet, they still look like they would have looked like if you would have been building them permanent. And that's really nice. When somebody tells you that, it kind of makes you feel good because you know that the neighborhood accepts that. And that's important to a school division to be part of that neighborhood and that community. Very important. The challenge was to meet that timeline and to make sure that we provided them with 
the learning space that they needed to be successful in a French immersion program. You know, it's always great to have a good working relationship with people, with companies, and I think that came out pretty early in the game. And the other thing about working with people like those guys is you, you, uh, you get a business relationship and if you're lucky, you can gain and foster a friendship and we've done that. You know, and that's really important. I mean, it's just a bonus.